Welcome back to another played lately. I have played two new games, currently playing them. These are first impressions, but I'm gonna give you a heads up. They are cozy, they have potential. When I have played them more, maybe I will give more of a final verdict. But guys, you guys are often correct when you comment down below and you tell me, Isha Gaming, try this game. This game is very you. I got a comment today saying you should play No Man's Sky on the Switch. Switch Up just released their review of that. And the comment said that that game is gonna be so me. We will see about that, maybe. But you know guys, I often listen to you. And this is a game, the game I'm about to talk about right now. It's a game that I've gotten a lot in my comment section. You should play Potion Permit. At first I thought that looks like Graveyard Keeper. Stodgy Valley, Graveyard Keeper sort of thing. With an atelier sort of gameplay. So I just had to buy Potion Permit because you guys told me to. In Potion Permit, you are an, I wanna say an alchemist. Let's say you are an alchemist. You brew potions in a cauldron with the materials that you have gathered out in the world. The thing is, you are new to this town. The townspeople do not like you because you're not from around there. You're a new guy or gal, and you sort of have a bad reputation to begin with, which is so unfair. You are invited to this town by the mayor because the mayor's daughter is sick and he's desperate. So you brew some medicine, you cure the daughter and he says, well, now you can live here, sort of thing. That's all you need to know about the story. Now this game has some combat, but that is pretty easy stuff. And like I said, you chop down trees, you mine rocks, you gather materials, you take all of the materials back home, brew potions. Now next to your home, you have the sick bed area where sometimes sick townspeople will lie down and say, I am sick, yo, help me. And often you have to diagnose them first and you do some small mini games, which are fun. They are not a big part of the game. I know a lot of people are allergic to rhythm based mini games, but there's not a lot of them. Anyway, so that is the gameplay loop. It's a day and night cycle. You go to sleep, you talk with the townspeople, you have a dog. And I called my dog Hunden, which I always do in video games for some reason. And this dog you can pet and give food to every day to increase friendship level with your dog. And a dog can actually be useful also, can track down NPCs for you. Now about friendship levels, yes, you can level up friendship levels with all the townspeople and get to know them, trigger events and stuff. So I would say this is a life simulator, but it's not including farming. It's just a life simulator that is more Atelier life simulator. Sort of like Graveyard Keeper, sort of like Stardew Valley, but I am enjoying it. I think I am 15 hours into the game and some people I've been talking to says that the main story may be 30 hours or something, but if you want to do everything it's gonna be more than that. I think the initial price point for Potion Permit was good. It was like $15 or something. Potion Permit, really cute pixel graphics, a top down view sort of thing. We're used to seeing that, but it looks really good. Now performance, guys. On the Switch, it's fine. It's fine, you know. But sometimes there's a big stutter. St stutter. Like sometimes just a big frame drop. It doesn't really bother me, but you will notice it. Music is so good, but you know what? And this is a thing with all life simulators in the world. Please, guys. I mean, Stodgy Valley did this correctly. They had several tunes for every season so that you never really, really got super tired of the music, the music being repetitive or something. Uh, so far, I have to say the main music in Potion Permit, 15 hours in, is pretty much the same and has been the same. So I am feeling right now that repetitiveness. I wish there were more tunes. Now this is just my first impression, maybe it will be more tunes later on, I don't know. <laughs> first impressions after 15 hours. But it's a live sim, so that is pretty early on. Live sims, in my opinion, tend to be 
longer games. That's why I probably like them so much, I don't know. I love being obsessed with live sims. So, uh, Potion Permit, I like it. Very good customization. I feel like I love how my character looks. I mean, let, let me fire it up. The hair flowing in the wind. It's just a very well-made game so far. I can see why you guys told me to play it. <laughs> Please continue to drop down below in my comment section your suggestions for me, because you guys are often correct. Now another game is Hoko Life. I have known about this game for so long, but it's now out on the Switch, and this is gonna be a super early first impression, guys. I don't think I'm many hours into the game. So far, it's very Animal Crossing. They are not even trying to conceal the fact, okay? You have this town, it looks like Animal Crossing. If someone didn't know better and just had seen Animal Crossing once, and I said that this is Animal Crossing, they would believe me, you know? It's that sort of similar. There are animals in this town, you chop down trees, you do all the life sim stuff, you have your own house, there's customization and stuff and furniture. And I have to say I also enjoy the price point. It's not an expensive game. Just like Potion Pyramid, these two have a nice price. Like any other good old life simulator, you unlock stuff the more you play. I still haven't unlocked like fishing. So actually guys, I wanna hear what you think of Hoka Life. Is it worth it to spend a ton of hours into this game? Are you far into it? I am definitely not. I'm more interested in Potion Permit as of right now. So that is that. But I do know that Hoka Life has a big community, a growing community, a ton of fans already. It's such a cute and sort of wholesome game, but I need to play it more. So far my impressions are good, but my impressions are better, let's say, on Potion Permit so far. I mean, even the music sounds like Animal Crossing kind of music. <laughs> there's just so many things that are similar. Well, there's building and crafting, and I do enjoy that you can craft several items at once. So it's a cute game. Check it out. Let me know what you think. <laughs> Now some updates, quick updates. Don't worry, I'm not gonna drag on forever. I got this one off eBay. I saw this on an Atelier sort of Facebook page, I think. <laughs> Lord, I never hang on Facebook. Atelier Eska and Logi, the anime. I've watched uh, three episodes, pretty good so far. I thought I would mention it, thought I would show it off because I, I didn't know about this one. So that's kind of funny. Did you guys know that they made an anime? It's apparently the only anime that they ever made out of the game series, I tell you. Uh, in other news, we have moved all the Disky Disc podcast merch over to its separate new brand new store. <laughs> separate brand new store. Link down below and link in the top pin comment. We have so many cool merch up now and I just got my hoodie. Such a game. We have a shower towel that says my shower broke today. No, exploded. <laughs> We have slippers that says, such slippers. We have a welcome mat that says, hi, how are you? Also, we have, hi, how are you shirts. I mean, check that stuff out and listen to the podcast. We really do appreciate all your support and that you listen to the podcast. Very good. In other news, I am going away. Not for long. I am going to London for a little, a little while. <laughs> I'm gonna take the eye, the ferris wheel, and I am going to the store that's called Forbidden Planet also. I already talked about all of this on the podcast. Check out the podcast again on Spotify, Apple Podcasts, Google Podcasts, and YouTube. And the YouTube version has timestamps. I cannot say yet what I'm gonna do in London, but my next upload will be that trip. I hope you wanna look forward to that. Now, tell me if No Man's Sky on the Switch is really worth it. Because some of you are saying you should play it. And you guys who are correct, I mean you're always, sometimes, often correct. And please hit like on my video. If you are new, you should subscribe. There it is. And we will see you. We will see you later. <laughs> I will see you. We will see each other later. What?